Hey, CPI has one, stir up here. Hey, let's go ahead and warm up on these problems. What do you think on this first one? So, we're going to do order of operations. So, we're going to go left to right. So, negative 5 plus 12. Yeah, something you want to buy is 5 bucks. You have $12 in your pocket, so you have 7 left. 7 minus 3. Then you can answer 4. Go ahead and try this next problem. Uh, take care of what's inside the parentheses. Four, subtract ten, you have four dollars. You want to buy something that costs ten dollars. That's negative six. Three times negative six is negative eighteen. Go ahead and try letter C. So I'm going to divide first. Eight divided by four is two. Two plus this two is down. It's going to be the answer of four. Go ahead and try letter D. That's three. Take care of what's inside the parentheses. If something you want to buy is two dollars, you have five dollars in your pocket, so you have three dollars left. Subtract two. Three times three is nine because that takes place before subtraction. Nine subtract two is seven. Okay, so something linear equations number two. Okay, the inverse operations. The inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse of subtraction is addition. The inverse of multiplication, I don't know why I don't have it, is division. The inverse of division is multiplication. So our goal when we solve an equation, our goal is to find the variable. Find the variable alone. All right, so we're going to go through this. Example one, we want to get x all by itself. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of this line. That represents um, kind of an equal sign all the way down. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. That's the opposite operation. Those cancel out. That gives me 3x equals 4 plus 2 is 6. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Those cancel. So x is equal to 2. There's your answer. If you plug your answer back in, you get 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4, so the answer does work. All right, we're going to try another problem. So we have the variable on the other side. That's okay. We're still going to do it the same way. Again, what I do is go to the line, subtract 3 from both sides. I get 9 over here, so I get y over 3. y over 3 is a division problem, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Those cancel out, so I get 27 is equal to y. And then it's preferred if you flip it to have the variable on the left. It's not wrong if you leave it as 27 equals y, but it's just preferred to have y equals 27. All right, let's go ahead and do these. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides and equal sign. I don't know if I can draw that. I'm going to say negative b because those cancel out. Negative 11 minus 6, negative 17. Multiply both sides times negative 1. That's going to give me b equals positive 17. Good night, Dr. Padovic. Next problem, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Those cancel out, so I get negative 3y is equal to 14 minus 8, which is 6. Right side by negative 3. Those cancel, so I get y equals, oh, I have a negative on bottom, so my answer is negative. 6 over 3 is 2. Next problem, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Negative 4x. Something costs $31. You have 7. So it's going to be a negative answer. 31 subtract 7 is going to give me 24. Divide each side by negative 4. Negative over negative is positive, so x equals positive 6. I have the variable on the right, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Equals t up over 3. t over 3 is a division problem, so I have to multiply 3 times both sides. Those cancel. So I get negative 9, because 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Equals t. So you can rewrite it with the variable on the left side. That's the more accepted way of writing it. I have a whole quantity on bottom. 
So what I'm going to do is this is division, so I'm going to multiply both sides times 7. The 7s cancel out, so x minus 3 equals is that 84, that's 12 times 7. Add 3 to both sides of the equal sign, so I get x is equal to 87. Problem number 6, so I'm going to go ahead and add 4 to both sides. So I have 2 over 3m is equal to 6. So there's something that we want to do. If I have a fraction like this multiplying out, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is just the flip over of the fraction. So this cancels here, this cancels here. M is equal to 6 times 3 is 18, so I get 18 over 2. 18 over 2 is the same thing as 9. So reciprocal is a little different. Okay, this time about a little yogurt place. Yummy yogurt, you pay $35 for a container, and then you pay 40 cents per ounce of yogurt toppings. You just bought 475. How much yogurt did you get? Okay, so let's set this up. We're going to pay 35 cents no matter what. But for every ounce of yogurt, we'll call it yogurt Y, that's what we're going to be willing to pay for. But our bill was $4.75. Okay, well, let's subtract the 0.35 from both sides. Make sure you line up the decimals. Those cancel. 0.40y is equal to 5 minus 5 is 0, 7 minus 3 is 4. Decimal comes straight down. And 440. Divide each side by 0 0.40 and 0 0.40. If you have a little handheld calculator, you can do that. But you should come up with an answer of. 11. So you bought 11 ounces of yogurt and toppings. Sounds good to me. I like yogurt. That's it. Have a great day, everybody. Take care of one another.